Hey there, planner friends. This is Amy and welcome back to Beloved Plans. In today's video, I'm going to be preparing my classic catch-all happy planner for the month of March 2021. If you're new to my channel, I'm so happy to have you here. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss a future video. I try to put out two videos every single week and this channel is, look, is for anyone who is looking to get more organized. And this, channel is, is, and this channel is for anyone who is looking to get more organized in their finances, productivity, business, and day-to-day -day life. So let's dive into the March. So whenever I start a new month in my planner, I go back to my kind of what I when I start a new month in my planner, I do what is called Franken planning. And if you're new to planning and don't know what that is, I will link right now to a video I put together on how I Franken plan. Some people find that really, really helpful. But the short version is that you take sections from different planners and you combine them all into one. So right now, this is what my Franken planner looks like. And I have February in here from four different planners that I pull from. I have a regular just catch-all planner, which is what I'll be doing today. I have a budgeting section, I have a social media section, and I have a wellness section. So I'm super excited to show you guys how I'm gonna pull together my March stuff. Um, so what I am going to do is grab the March section out of here. And we're just gonna be doing the monthly spread today. I've been using these half sheets to just look at my calendar that I keep on my phone, because I do use Google calendars for pretty much everything in my life, but I like having a paper version as well. Not only is it fun to decorate, but it gives me kind of that at a glance look that sometimes my digital calendar can't give me without a lot of overwhelm. So I just went through the month and I looked at the bigger things we have in our calendar and I just wrote them down here on this half sheet list. So I have them listed out with the dates in the right hand column. So I'm gonna keep this handy as I'm building my spread so that I can plan to have spaces for these things on there. We're also gonna be doing what I call the currently page uh, and for the month of March and this contains just some big ideas, master list. I often will change that to a goals list and then holidays, birthdays, or dates to remember in the month of March. So I'm going to be doing, now I have those ready to go. I'm going to pull out my March pages and I'm going to put this away. And I have been loving all of the new floral books that the Happy Planner has been coming out with, sticker books, and uh, also my Jeans Agenda subscription box, which if you haven't checked that out yet for the month of March, I'll link to that right now above, and you guys can check that out after this video. But that came with all these gorgeous little plant stickers. And since March is the month of St. Patrick's Day and a lot of green, I thought what more perfect of a theme than to do plants. And I totally have become a plant mom and my family makes fun of me, but I don't care. I name my fiddle leaf figs that I have in my house. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you have plants and if you name them and if your family makes fun of you too. <laughs> so I went ahead, I'm going to use those or at least some of them. I also pulled out the Happy Blooms sticker book. I have not used this one yet and it has some really beautiful plant stickers in there and just different shades of green. So I'm going to use that for sure. And then I'm also going to use the Don't Stop Growing sticker book because uh, that one has a little bit more functional type stickers in there, boxes, uh, different to-do list type stickers. And then I did pull out a couple of birthday stickers. My daughter's birthday is on the 14th of March. So I thought these might be fun to put in my planner somehow or just see if anything coordinates to kind of denote her birthday. So we'll start with this and then I'll go ahead and move on to my currently page. I went over and grabbed some green washi because one of the first things I like to do is mark out any larger all day or multi day events. So the first thing I'm gonna mark out is the first weekend of the month. We have a out of town volleyball tournament for my daughter. So I'm gonna use the green washi to mark that. Then I'm also going to mark out spring break, which my kids have the week of March 22nd. Instead of trimming washi tape with scissors, I like to use my straight edge of my little ruler to rip it. So here I'm looking for, I've actually never flipped through this Don't Stop Growing sticker book before. It's super cute, but it's very focused on gardening, which I did not realize. I thought it would be more functional type stuff that are not specifically focused on gardening. So I'm actually probably not gonna use that one for this particular project. 
I love this huge hanging plant sticker. So I'm gonna put that over on the top left corner. This whole section is probably gonna end up on this spread. I love it so incredibly much. So now I got out my All the Plans sticker book because there are some holidays in the month of March. So I'm just flipping through here. There's also some cute vacation stickers. So I'm just gonna set that little palm tree aside. My son and I are going to Fort Myers for the Minnesota Twins spring training for a couple games. So I thought I can use those vacation type stickers over there. I have uh, two days that I'm taking preschool photos on the 15th, 16th, so I wanted to mark those with the washi as well. So I'm gonna take the St. Patrick's Day sticker and lay it down. It's the perfect shade of green to match the plants, which I love. Oh, I actually found this black one that's smaller, fits in that box a little bit better. So I'm actually gonna save that St. Patrick's Day one, probably for my weekly spread. So now I'm just gonna go through these boxes. The next thing I like to do is do my functional stickers. So finding the right shade of green might be a little bit more tricky just because I'm using more of a dark teal. However, the washi I'm using does pull in a lot of different shades of green. So I think that will be a nice way to tie lots of different colors together. So I like to have a little monthly to-do list over on the left side on that dot grid section. I'm gonna add some colorful boxes and just different shades of green. When I do put the washi down, I like to put a box or something on top of it so that I can write in there what exactly it is I'm blocking off. That Yes Way vacay was a little bit crooked, so I needed to fix that. I'm also gonna layer it on top of that box a bit too. And I'm gonna lay down this palm tree sticker over here on the left. It is transparent though, so I wanted to use my white pen to cover up the line. So I'm gonna get one of these little volleyball stickers and put that up on the spread. We actually have volleyball two weekends in a row, so I'm gonna put one on the 13th also. And then there's my little palm tree now that the white ink has dried. Now, as you can see, I did not do any pre-planning really on this spread, so I have a lot more sticker book flipping that I'm doing. These little green balloons are perfect to mark my daughter's birthday on the 14th. That's also daylight savings time, so I can't forget to change our clocks that day. All right, I'm gonna start adding some more of these decorative plant stickers. Fiddly figs are my absolute favorite, so I love having that on there. Just trying to see if any of these from Jean's Agenda are gonna look cute. They're a totally different texture, so I'm not sure if they will work very well on here or not. All right, I'm gonna go back to these big banana leaves. They're so gorgeous, I love them and then just add in some more little plants. I'm thinking since I have those empty boxes down on the right side, I'm gonna lay down a bunch of these banana leaf stickers and trim them and just kind of have like a little section of those. So I'm gonna take my scissors and trim these off and then I always do try to use these extra pieces also. It's a really good way to get extra mileage out of your stickers. Perfect, I love how that looks now. I'll trim this one on the bottom here. And lay that piece down. I'm just gonna see what other leaves I can find. Just again, adding all those little pieces really helps just kind of fill in those blanks. I'm really wanting to use those jeans agenda plants, but I'm not sure that that's gonna work. All right, I'm gonna pull out this fun floral sticker book and see if there's any other little things in here I can use. I do have one of these banana leaf stickers left, but I just, it's not really the right shade of color, I don't think. I 
And again, in happy blooms. I don't know, I think, I think we're pretty close to being done here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start writing in our stuff onto the calendar. I personally love seeing people write in their planners. So I like to do that every once in a while for you guys so you can see how I actually use the planner and not just put stickers down. So just writing in our different volleyball tournaments. I'm trying to do more hand lettering in my planners now that I'm starting to get better at it slowly. And then I'm gonna use green pen in the white boxes just to add more green, of course. But the black pen seems to work better on the darker colored boxes. Fort Myers. And then I'm actually gonna add washi to the 29th because we actually don't come back till that day. All right, so now I'm gonna pull out my currently page. And again, this might be a good place for me to use those jeans agenda stickers. I'm gonna cover up in that top right. So usually what I do is I will put my goals for the month over in that section, or at least a couple different like big ones that I wanna accomplish. So here I got out my goals sticker book. I'm gonna hand letter goals on here. Then once I do my power sheets for the month, I like to put those monthly goals there. Down on the bottom, I'm gonna write just some different holidays and things we have going on, tournaments. My daughter's birthday, of course. I love this giant plant, so I'm gonna put that there. And then this little strip. Not really sure what I'm gonna write on that yet, but it's cute. <laughs> I've kind of been not sure how to use this page lately, so I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna decorate it, make it cute, and then I'll come back to it and fill it in. So there we have it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you found this helpful and that you enjoyed seeing what the finished spread looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and link to my February Plan With Me video over here on the right side right now, so if you'd like to check that out, I will see you over there.